There she is, the rock uh, firewood, ready to go for the customer. Um, I hope that he will be satisfied with this load. Hello YouTube, um, welcome back to another, to another episode of Travis Does Firewood. Just got back from my trip from Oregon, hence the hat. And uh, now time to get back to, to work. Um, I think, believe before this video you'll see um, um, a video on, during my trip of uh, some firewood stands uh, in Oregon we were staying as well as the firewood stand or the bundles of firewood that were available at the campsite but uh, today is my first full, full day back um, at home and um, I got a ping from a guy while I was gone and um, he came by and picked up a rack of wood and some kindling, but he has a sauna that is um, um, with a wood stove in, inside, and he likes to burn hardwood in there. So he um, he beat me a a few weeks ago or or a few, or a few months ago, and I was chatting with him and I said, "Well, for a sauna, you need hardwood." And um, I have some, but it's going to be at a premium. So I have behind me my maple that this is from the summer of 21, maybe 22. Um, I forget, but it's this maple behind me definitely sees it. I, I, I use this for my house uh, this past winter, but this is the maple that I got from the video that is on my channel that I traded, I traded or more or less tr bought with, 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 with a bottle of, of uh, whiskey. Um, so that's that video. So, um, with this, um, uh, maple, it's, since it's going to be a premium, I'm going to give him a rack of wood, but for 25 as opposed to, um, 20, which is my normal price for, for a rack. That's regular size. And because of the size of his, Wood stove. I'm gonna put a picture of it on the screen now. It has to be maximum of 16 inches long or shorter. So um, I'm gonna to have to measure each one of these pieces to make sure that it's gonna fit in the wood stove. And I don't think he wants monster ones, but he doesn't want kindling. So I have to find the sweet spot. So it takes some time to um, kind of sort what I have here in this pile. Um, so he gets what I what he needs, and um, he's happy customer. So, l l l l so let's get to it. So this portion of the wood yard, um, this is the better part of where I sack wood. Had all this metal metal roofing all across here to their long pieces too. They were great. Then we had a big windstorm a few months ago, or at least the, the, sorry, the, this past winter, and from that point to the end blew off and roll away which you see in the back there and I haven't been able to put it back so for now we have this tarp which is a bummer um it's one more thing to do so hopefully that we'll do have that in a video to uh repair this roof so it's so ready for this winter so let's get to it all right so so 30 pieces um be using my um gauge measurement gauge that I use for my chainsaw um it's out of the end to um um to kind of cut a slit to get um uh rounds into 16 inches uh long so this is my get gauge I'll use this as opposed to a tape measure um to get the pieces that I want so um let's see what we can do here that's good the shorty that's perfect Pieces. That's too long. That's definitely too long. This is gonna be a good one. That's, that's perfect.
see when we get, get up here. Roughly 30 pieces I counted, but I think I'm one or two more than 30. It's, so, in my opinion, and I, I, I believe others would would agree with me, um, it's good to have more than less. Um, yes, there's that um, that thought of well, if you always give more than um, what the actual measurement is, like you give a little more than. In, in in the third of a cord to make sure that it's all fine then the customer will always expect more well um it's what i mean the one more one two more sticks of wood is, is it going to break at my bank but it keeps the customer coming back so to find that balance so um i wanted to make sure that this looks uh good and now we're gonna head up the hill There she is, the rock uh, firewood, ready to go for the customer. Um, I hope that he will be satisfied with this load. I think he kind of he wants this type of um, amount of wood. I think like once a month. It all depends on him and his sauna use, but um, I don't want to deplete my personal stash of maple. Okay, that's going to be. What I use, um, I'll probably mix it with my some cookies of fur um, and softer wood uh, this winter. Uh, or in a few months when the fall comes, because I didn't get a load of maple or this summer. But um, happy to supply in smaller quantities uh, when I can, and so I hope I hope to keep this customer uh, for a long time. But uh, yeah, so just just a quick video. Um, if you like uh, what you saw here, go ahead and do. Do you need to do? Uh, you know what to do. Um, but I thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. And have a good day. Bye. P.S. Something that I'll do when I get an order um, at my stand or for wood um, is I will, um, when they ping me either on text or on Marketplace, usually it's 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 a Marketplace, I will send them a picture um, or a video of just of the of the. The wood, either it's in a, a cage or a wheelbarrow or, or, or on a pallet uh, up at, at, at my driveway. Um, so they know what's available, where it is exactly, uh, more or less in terms of where um, on my driveway. And that's, um, and just to let them know, hey, it's ready. Here is a picture of it. So they know what it looks like coming in 
so, and they have so if they have any questions before they come and get it uh, they ask then um but just so it's 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 um as as is as transparent as i i can for my customers and i feel that, that that there's a lot of people who like that so just a ps on this um sale and and all the other sales is uh, when it's, it's ready to go, I take a picture of it, send it to him, say, say, say that it's say that it's ready, and and we're and and we're good to go. Thank you.